I was doing live streams, which um, is is about as vulnerable as you can get, right? It's like this is live. Things might go wrong. Things things have gone wrong on them. Nothing that I can't work through. But then, actually, sometimes that was. I mean, that tend to be my most popular content is when I go live. I don't even edit this stuff at the end. I just say rewatch the recording because mainly because I just didn't have time to edit it. Um, nor did I think people wanted it edited. You get some very hyper edited content and it just feels corporate mass produced versus, Hey, we're just hanging out with Jonathan for 45 minutes. He's going to show you something in technology. I'm compiling code in real time. It might not compile correctly. It didn't like once or twice. I worked through it and then realized, Oh, okay. He's a human. Things don't just magically work perfectly for him every time. Like, and it doesn't, you know, cause we had a lot of people always saying, Oh, I like what you're doing, but I, I took me two days to figure out how to get started. Well, then they watch me do it and realize, okay, he doesn't, there's nothing magic about what I do. It's just, I've been doing a little, a little longer. And so I ran into issues. I could troubleshoot it. They see how I did it. And then they start saying, I got messages, a lot of personal messages after these live streams, just saying, it's great to see you doing it in real time. And I had a lot of people say early on, uh, not a lot, but a few people say, I, yeah, I think your tutorials need to be shorter. They need to be like four minutes long, two minutes long. They need to be TikTok style. Well, I I disagreed. <laughs> Obviously doing an hour and a half live stream because I think people needed to see this new technology in real time, realizing it's not as scary as they thought it was. Um, and and that it, it does take time to do these things. Think, things don't take four minutes to magically output some cool, you know, spatial computing application, some, you know, real time, you see all these things like um, an example of spatial computing could be making a 3D model or it could be recognizing objects in real time, things like that. Well, it takes it takes some work for that to work. It doesn't it doesn't just click code. Bam, works. 